the singular fruit is finally coming out and from my own point of view i can categorically say that one of the reasons why the Oba of lagos didn't want to see ptob is for them to begin to carry this rumor later on that obi disrespected the Oba of lagos but that is a lie the truth is finally coming out obi is one man i know that respect even a small child a baby of today a one day old baby we have seen it in him in all the places he has gone for rally in his 37th rally the ob the oba of lagos didn't want to see obi listen to the labor party chairman obi have been to bini he saw the, he met with the oba of bini obi has been to the north he met with the sultan of sokoto he met with the emirs obi respect people i don't know where they brought this rumor now trying to give a uh, labor party a bad name but god will not allow that Obi is a good man and he is the most capable candidate to lead Nigeria of today. Listen to the video. It's against convention. The usual convention will have been for Mr. Peter Obi to go and see the Oba of Lagos. Because most uh, of the other candidates, when go, they go to a community, they go and see the Oba of Lagos. When Atiku came to Lagos, he went to visit the Oba of Lagos. When he went to Abeokuta, he went to see the Alake of uh, Egbala. When Ashwaju went to the north, he will first visit the traditional ruler in that particular locality. He will not go to, to Sabo, he will not go to Yoruba community in, uh, in, in that state. So, the major criticism is that this to be is playing the ethnic card. That going to Alaba market is like trying to uh, mobilize the dominant Igbo community within that axis. I'm a word of in, uh, uh, you know, uh, local government area. What do you say to these uh, two major issues? Let me first, well, people say what they don't know. If you've been following the trend of Obi's campaign rally, he goes to the royal fathers to pay his um, distance. Obi made attempts to see the Oba of Lagos. But we were not able to see the Oba of Lagos. He went to the palace and he was turned back? No, he didn't get to the palace. You know, normally, if he's going to the palace, there should have been a prearrangement that, and informing the Oba that he is on his way. In a situation when they say the Oba is not available, he's not going to go to an empty palace. So you're saying that he, he, he sent a letter to yes, the Oba of Lagos yes. and they denied him Precisely. Um, He's not audience. going to go to an empty palace to see the Oba. The first thing, Mr. Obi respects culture and that is what he's been doing everywhere. This is the 37th rally. There's no way Obi would have neglected what we term our traditional ruler the head in Lagos State, and ignore him. Yeah, but okay, I said this was the last major yes. rally. Yes, 37 so, states is visited. Yes, so for you in Lagos, as chairman of the Labour Party in Lagos, uh, what's next? Because the election is still two weeks away anyway, you still have a little time for campaign. And now that your people are being targeted, uh, particularly some of them who were, who were um, Labour Party vests, yes, yes, yes. because I saw a video where a gentleman was saying, you know, they were attacking them for wearing uh, Labour uh, Party, party yes. vests. I and hope you're using to... the sash. When you are going, maybe you I maybe will... you have to hide it I'm not, so I've that been, nobody I, will attack I, I, I schooled in the north where there was serious violence. I went to Ebiu area, I went to um, Gongola states. I schooled there and I've always been a student activist. And that is why I identify with the youths. I identify with all Nigerians. And I know that this country, until there's a change where leadership is given into the hands of people who have the capacity, the competence to do the right thing, people who have compassion, because it's obvious that people don't have compassion. The leaders that we have right now don't have compassion for the masses. If not, what is happening right now wouldn't have happened. What is happening right now should have been prevented because we wrote, I as a chairperson and the committee, the council, the campaign council, 
we made sure that we wrote to all the security agencies. They, sh they should have prevented this. They, they were really working. They should have re prevented this. Nobody, uh, we will not be intimidated. You saw, irrespective of what happened, people still turned out en masse to the rally. They came. There was no fuel, no money, nothing. We did not give them one cover, but you saw what happened. And I'm going to tell my fellow obedience that you have started this course. The course is ordained by God and not, not any man will stop it. Thank you. I just one final question before yes, you go. Please. Did Kashim Shatima and um, the, um, the, um, the candidates of the NNPC, Kwakwa and so, not visit the Hausa communities? Did they face this backlash as well when they came to Lagos? NNPP. NNPP. Yes, that's Kwakwa and so of the NNPC. They, they visited, Kashim they Shatima vis with they the APC. They visited their their community, the Arewa community, they visited them. Did they have the, this No, they didn't. Them? I don't know. Uh, it's obvious that Labour Party is a threat to all. <laughs> and it's, not, it's a threat to all because Nigerians are desirous of a change. And an eminent change is going to happen. All right. Well, thank you very much, thank um, you. Pastor. Our politicians are always very smart in playing ethnic politics, ethnic cards using one ethnic group against each other. Now they want to use Yoruba people and set Yoruba people against Ndibo, against other supporters of Obi. But I want to tell our wicked politicians, Obi, Peter Obi is a Nigerian project. It is not only the Igbos that are supporting him, both the Yoruba and the Hausa and every other ethnic groups in Niger, in Nigeria are supporting Peter Obi.